not Elk City, but let's go back toward Wichita. Mike, what kind of, uh, when these moved in, was it one of those things where you went pretty much from no drops to a torrential downpour, or was it a few drops on the windshield that got heavier, got a little heavier, and then eventually you're in the middle of the... Of a the severe area. thunderstorm warning has been issued for exactly. your area. That's exactly what happened, Jimmy. Look at this wind right now. Here's the flag. Can we get a shot of old glory up here under the portico? These are west, these are northwest winds. I've been mentioning temperatures in the 50s. And look how the rain is now coming down in sheets as we get woo, this elevated thunderstorm slapping us here out at the airport here in Wichita. So we got very heavy rain. Our visibility now down to about uh, we've got half inch hail now. If we can okay. get some of that hail coming down. Show me the hail. Show me the, the uh, bills for Wichita. Now, see, we just lost Mike, uh, and that and that's what can happen when you're trying when you're out there with the satellite truck. You you got that visual. You're trying to get it up to the satellite and then back down. Heavy rain and hail. Where Mike is, we'll check back in with him. So we're watching thunderstorms work through Wichita, Wichita, Kansas tonight. Our very own Mike Seidel is there. Here's the thunderstorms. Here's Wichita. Mike is on the west end of town near the airport. But look at this thunderstorm, and you can see where the highest reflectivities are coming from. Let's tilt this in the vertical, though. How is he getting hail if he's close to Wichita? Because the updraft is tilted. You see how it's tilted off over Wichita right now? Falling from that is some hail. Let's go to Mike Seidel. Mike, you're getting pounded right now in Wichita, aren't you? Oh, you can see the stones. Now, this is a video. Now, this was shot just a few minutes ago. Just a few minutes ago. You can see the hail and the wind. We're panning around here. Uh, hail for about one inch were the max hailstones, and they started piling up against the uh, front door of the National Weather Service. And then I think we, we may have panned back. Did we pan back to the parking lot? Okay, we went up to the trees because we had uh, a lot of limbs, rather large limbs, blow down. We're going to show you that in a minute. But I look at the wind and the hail coming down there in that video. Now, this is about five or six minutes ago. We lost the shot, Jim, because of uh, rain fade. Now we open up the shot. Look at that. Look at that picture, wow. Jim. Mike, that's, and, that's only one-inch hail? That, that almost looks uh, like golf ball to me. That's what we saw blowing here. Well, we didn't like the lens, but that's okay. Uh, there's the uh, shot across the street. That's over towards the golf course. And you can get a sense of the wind and the trees bending. And yeah. those trees have been, we've lost a lot of limbs. Uh, rather, it looks like uh, about five or six inch caliper. We're going to pick up some of the hail out of the yard and uh, try to hang on for it and try to get back uh, to a live shot here. Let's see if we can switch back. Can we switch back to a live camera? Uh, right now, let's Whoa, see if we can switch the to the live camera, and uh, we'll show you uh, we'll uh, on camera. Are you seeing me live again, Jim? Uh, well, we see. Well, we just saw Mike with some pretty intense right lightning now? in the background. I, I think that's file from what we had earlier now, what about uh, as right well. Now? Do you before see me the right hail now? moved in, I do not do see you see on air right, right now. now. No. Do you see me right now, Jim? I do not. I, I actually, guys, take Mike's camera. Mike's, Mike's live camera. He's got you hail in his camera? hands. There it is, right there. Okay, we do see you, Mike. Go ahead. Okay. Here are the hailstones in my hand. So we've got about one inch hailstones. Get a shot. Make sure you cheat down because we've got the uh, weather information scrolling on the bottom of the screen there, uh, Mike. And uh, Jim, you can see those hailstones. Wow. So, and wow. They, they, they looked a lot bigger when they were bouncing off the grass out there earlier, Mike. Yeah, and they and they felt bigger when they were nailing us up the side of our noggins. But when well, that wind was just ripping around, whipping around this portico. Now let's go across the street. The wind has really backed off. Let's go across the street, uh, Mike, and show some of these uh, large limbs that have blown down on these trees uh, over here on the golf course. We got one down over there, but two over here. You can see those, Jim. So we've oh, had yeah. some uh, tree damage here. Wow. And but n notice how quickly the weather has calmed down. The wind has backed off, and the rain has um, has really slackened off. So. For about eight or nine minutes there, it was uh, quite the storm. And we'll show that to you throughout the evening because that was certainly the highlight of the entire day as far as our crew is concerned here in uh, Oklahoma and Kansas. And you've probably seen some pretty dramatic temperature changes too, haven't you, Mike? Where we, we oh, started yeah, we off warm, cooled down, and then, you know, cooled down even further now behind this rain shaft. Yeah, we were in the low 80s, and it was warm and muggy. In fact, that whole, you know, that whole humid tropical air mass. And then we had the front come through. We showed you the roll cloud. And then the temperature fell down into the 60s, and now we're down, I'd say, in the mid-50s. I mean, you know, my, my hand is starting to, you can feel the numbness because of the cold, wet, damp weather. And, and then you throw in the wind. And there, I think, are we sh able to show that hail again? Are we showing that yes. hail storm again yes, there, Tim? Yes, we are, Mike. Go ahead and talk over it. There it is once again. This is, again, let our viewers know. This is about 15 minutes ago. And then you can hear the hail start bouncing in the grass from this elevated thunderstorm. Again, we're back in the cold air. No threat of a tornado, really, at this point. And uh, it's just, it's just chilly, chilly rain, 
wind gusts. We're going we're gonna to get that wind, peak wind gust here shortly uh, as soon as we can get back inside of the Weather Service office and we'll get that uh, peak wind gust. And maybe we can get Chance, Chance Hayes, our warning cording meteorologist. Can you run inside, Chance, and see if you can uh, dig up the wind gust for that cell uh, that came through? We're on it, buddy. That's exactly yeah, what we're on. For. But, Mike, it's amazing when we look at this picture. We just had you live outside where we could see across the street. We could see the limbs that came down. But when you went through this, visibility uh, down to almost A severe zero. thunderstorm warning has been issued for your area. Alive. It's because the rain was coming down so heavily. And it's, it's almost like we're watching this whole thing come through. Uh, you know, it starts to lighten up a little bit and a little bit more. The rain gets a little bit lighter. But just really with, within 60 seconds to, uh, you know, as much as three minutes, I mean, you just, it's amazing how the atmosphere just changes on a dime. Yeah, it is. Uh, it, that, that's one of the reasons we got into this business, right, Jim? You know? Well, it, it is, and, and it, you know whether it's producing a tornado or not, folks. You, you know, by time it's so that's why it's so important to get these warnings out to you because you right. saw how fast that came up on Mike. You know, by time you go to the window and you check it out, boom, Mother Nature's on top, of you. and you can see now, but okay, obviously Jim. behind all that, how much uh, more surreal it is. And, and, and actually, it's, it's okay, a nice Jim. night. Yeah, go ahead, Mike. Yeah, uh, the ASOS instrument is on the other side of the building. It's on the other, in the middle part of the airport. Okay, the, the ASOS measurement, I'm being told by uh, Chance Ace, is the warning coordinating, warning coordinator meteorologist here with the Weather Service. Uh, the ASOS uh, measuring equipment is out in the middle of the airport. This was a microburst because it only measured a wind gust to 29 knots, which is what, right. 33, 34, 34 miles, miles an hour. hour right. And we certainly had wind gusts, it had to be 45 or 50 miles an hour. 50 miles an hour here. 60, well, I mean, you he's saying 60, 60 miles an hour here with that hailstorm. Mike, you mentioned oh, some uh, you mentioned some limb uh, tree limb damage. How how big are those limbs there that you saw? And is that the only I'll one? Across, I'll, you know what? Let's go back to the uh, live camera, and I'll walk across the street on on camera, and we'll I'll, I'll give you the correct measurement. You know, I'm looking in the grass here, Jim, and this this whole you know this is beautiful green fescue, but the whole uh, ground is just covered with uh, um, hailstones. Hail Let me get right. this road and. Um, Get over here. Some of these limbs are pretty big. I'm thinking six to seven inches, but they are they are large. This wind came whipping through here, and uh, some of the damage here. Hey, hey, Mike, you've been in enough of these. What, what would you if, if you didn't get 34 miles an hour? What would you say you had there? 50? I would say we had 50. Uh, Chance is telling me he thinks about 60. These wow. are about six to eight inch. Oh, this, now this limb over here. I, no, I don't want to lose the picture. This one over here is about a nine-inch limb, nine-inch uh, caliper of width. Now, as you These look around, as you look around out toward the golf courses, is that the only one, or, or, or are there other trees and limbs that are or tree limbs that are down? Well, it's hard to see, but every tree here has something off it. But look, can you see how big this limb is? Can you see that shot? Or there's zoom. I, hopefully, um, Mike is zooming in. Yeah, it looks like a two to, two to three-inch so, caliper, right? Uh, two. About four-inch caliper here. Okay, four-inch four inch. on this one. So there you go. Uh, Boy, what a what a, um, a wild 10 or 15 minutes here, following the fropa and that that storm, and and we're still getting. Looking across uh, the airport, we are still getting lightning and thunder. Looking off to the north and east as that cell has gone by. Now the clouds not as vivid as what Dr. Forbes and Mike Bennett are showing. We're showing out in western Oklahoma, but I want to tell you this hailstorm. Hey Kinda Michael, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to come back at you a little bit, buddy, because uh, we gotta go to break. But uh, great stuff tonight on the Weather Channel, folks. We're watching Mike go through storms in Kansas, and Mike Bettis going through some storms, possibly still chasing with Vortex Two tonight in Western Oklahoma.